Good morning and welcome to the channel. Hope you guys are having a great day. Today is going to be an awesome one. We are painting the blazer a color that I have wanted to paint a truck for like five years. So I can't wait to see what that looks like. But first we are going to load up everything in the back of the green truck, everything we need for the lift kit, because tomorrow morning we are going to get cracking on it bright and early at PDW. The lift kit is getting installed and really kind of kicking off the green truck build. Now we did a few little things. We did some paint prep. We did uh, the window tint. We took off the side molding and the fender trim and all that. But this is going to be the real you know, first mod for the build. And a six inch lift might not sound like a whole lot, but remember the big Duramax sitting over there is only a 10 inch lift and it looks that different, a very significant difference over stock. This one at six is gonna be a huge difference as well. These trucks especially, they sit so low from the factory that a six inch lift is really kind of what they all need. Loading everything up and there is a lot. A lot came with this kit. We got this box, which I believe is the RCX uh, skid plate. Pretty sure that's what's in there. This little box of unknown hardware. Uh, Oh, it's a steering stabilizer. It says it on the box, so we got that. This is a uh, four-wheel drive assembly, whatever that means, and a whole bunch of other stuff that I'm not gonna talk about, but you get the idea. Like, there's a lot. Now, the other lift kits that I've bought, like for my Duramax, they came delivered on like a pallet uh, via like a freight, you know, like an 18-wheeler, a freight delivery to the house. This all came normal UPS, so it's in a bunch of different boxes. Last box here is leaf springs for the rear. So we're doing a block and an add a leaf, and that's it. And the tailgate that doesn't really work. And I did not forget my thermostat and my new fuel filter because the truck needs those as well and might as well do it while we're under there. Here we go. Right up every time. I love 1200 bucks. I still can't. Sometimes I amaze myself with the deals I get. That one I got ripped off on, but it's okay because I wanted it and I had to have it. That's right. I would have paid anything for you, big girl. You needed a home. Love you. It is a gorgeous day for a drive. And you know what? The more I drive this old bird, the better she gets. And I find that with a lot of these old trucks and stuff that I buy. Like when vehicles sit for a long time, they don't like to do that. Vehicles like to be driven. And when they sit, they brake. And a lot of times, if you just kind of start driving them again, they get a lot better and they kind of like fix themselves. Now, of course, I'm not giving advice here. If something's wrong with your truck, don't just keep driving it and you'll break something worse. But, you know, honestly, for vehicles that do sit and have kind of been like in storage or whatever, a lot of times if you just get them out and start daily driving them, they get better as time goes on. And th that has certainly been true for this truck. It runs a lot better now than when I first got it. I do have one light on the dash and that is the parking brake light, but that is just a faulty light because the parking brake is definitely not on, or at least I don't think it is. It doesn't feel like it is. And that is kind of common with the old Chevys. A lot of times uh, the light sticks. This truck is super clean, as you guys know, all original, which is how I wanted it. Even the radio, all original. The old like tuner, you could adjust all this stuff which I think is neat. I like it. I don't even know if it works anymore, but, and the tape player, old school. Again, this truck is older than me, and I did find some replacement door panels on Facebook. Uh, it's from a truck with the same, the same color as mine, but with roll-up windows, which I might get them, just because like, I feel like the roll-up windows would be kind of cool, and I wanted to replace this panel anyway, but we'll see. Only if they're in good shape. These trucks, they always put a smile on my face, and I'm really just as happy driving this as I am a McLaren. Although, I'll admit, the McLaren is more fun. You know, these are great. What's going on? Are you ready to work on this uh, beautiful specimen? Looks like it. Dude, it, it needs some work, but 1200 bucks. 1200 bucks. You already sanded it, or was it? I, I sanded it a little bit. I did a little work. Oh, you were working on it. I did, I did a little prep work. Back at PDW, and what is this? By the way, that's one of my Corrados. The transmission is out. Wow, really clean C4 right there. Here is my other Corrado. If you guys were wondering, I still do have both of my Volkswagens and the transmission swap is still happening, going from auto, reverse, no, there we go. Uh, we're going from auto to manual. The green one right there is an automatic and it's super clean, but I wanted a manual. So we're swapping the trans from the black one into that one. But yeah, here it is, the Corrado. Still good, nothing wrong with it. 
perfect, like I said, mint condition. This is a mint condition car that I got for a great deal, uh, but I don't want an auto. So I bought that black one over there uh, just for the trans and we're putting that in it. The trans is out of that one currently in the shop. And now I'm just waiting on Shane to have the time to take the auto out and put that manual in. I know it's been a while, but I didn't exactly tell Shane it was like a priority to get done. So he's just kind of doing it in his spare time, which he doesn't have a lot of. And here is the other one. And as you can see, the transmission is no longer inside of the vehicle. I don't know if you guys can see that, but we are making progress on the Volkswagens. Don't worry. This might be a, might be a ZR1. I don't know what Shane's doing to this, but that is really cool. It's got ZR1 wheels. It kind of looks like it might be, I don't know. Looks like it's in for a clutch job. Please save old flywheel. If you find anything else that needs replaced, call. <laughs> cool. Looks awesome. I love it. Love those wheels. I do miss my C4 from time to time. I'm not going to lie. I had a lot of fun with that, with that Corvette. That was great. <laughs> We got the green truck dropped off, so it's time. It is time to paint the blazer. I can't wait. What color are we doing? We got this Rust-Oleum like OD green color. It's a little bit lighter than like an OD green, but than what an OD green normally is, but it's really cool. I love it. And that blazer is going to look sick. Now you got to keep in mind, it's not going to look that good because of the stock wheels. But once I get the good wheels back on it, it's going to look epic in this new color, even better than the black, I think. With that being said, let's get to painting. Now, I already did uh, tape everything off except for the windshield. I gotta put newspaper over that. Um, but everything else is taped off, the mirrors and the door handles, the tail lights, the headlights. There you can see a little sample of it. But everything's taped off and pretty much ready to go. And I'm gonna put the windows down. I'm just gonna put the windows down to make it really easy and then uh, we'll get going. time for you the color I'm using is actually called army green if you can see on the can army green and uh, I ran out so if you're wondering you're, you're gonna need more than four cans to do a vehicle the size of the blazer um, I, I thought four is gonna be okay foolishly looks like it's the way it's gone right now it looks like it's gonna take about probably six uh, so if I were you and you're doing a truck I would probably get around I would probably get around eight to 10 so you can do uh, basically two coats and you'll be okay. Um, but just a, a reminder, uh, if you didn't know, and apparently I didn't know, I didn't have a clue, uh, they do not sell this at Home Depot, or at least not where I live. Uh, they do not sell it at Pet Boys. They don't sell it at Advanced Auto Parts and they don't sell it at AutoZone. I went to four places and I ended up having to go to Walmart and I hate Walmart. I hate Walmart. I avoid going there at all costs and I tried. I went to four stores They didn't have it so I ended up having to go to Walmart, but there it is It's called army green and they don't sell it anywhere except for Walmart. Now back to the program
And we are done with the first full coating of the truck. And I really got to admit, I did not think it was going to look this good. And uh, maybe the black underneath helps to kind of darken the paint a little bit, but it looks freaking fantastic. It looks exactly like one of those old military trucks, like a, it was, you know, like a K series uh, Chevy that they used in the military. And that's exactly the look I was going for. And it turned out really, really good. Now keep in mind, no prep work, you know, no sanding. I didn't even wash the truck. I didn't even clean it. And it turned out amazing. I mean, look at that. That looks really, really good. I mean, I think, let me know what you think in the comments, but I think it looks fantastic. And we have one more little detail we gotta add. Yes, yes, that is perfect. That is perfection. Just the last little thing to complete the look, and they didn't have enough. I could have bought two, I should have bought two sets so I could do the 717 at one time. And I might add like SS to the back, but that is perfect. The only thing is I wish it was a little bit bigger, but I could always spray over it and get a bigger template. And I was gonna do it on the front fender, um, but that one's really dented and this one is covered by the snorkel. Consider putting it on the snorkel, but I love that. God, that looks epic. Now, the only other thing I might do is put a star on the door, but that is epic. I love it. What a great day for only like 40 bucks worth of paint, an epic, epic day and a ton of fun. And it didn't take long at all. It only took me about, it took me about three hours, but most of that, like an hour and a half of that was running around trying to find more paint. Uh, so get a lot of paint if you're going to attempt this and i know it kind of looks like poop right now because of the wheels and tires but trust me just you got to trust me and i've said this before and i've always been right so far i say trust me and people are like i don't know mike and then i i get done with what i'm doing and people are like wow i really see it now trust me when the good wheels and tires go back on it's going to look epic in this color can't forget to put my little antenna back on that i took off and uh, let me get all the tape and paper off of this thing and we'll see how it looks there it is boys there it is the finished product and i am totally in love with it i think it looks great turned out way better than i thought it was going to turn out and uh, all i got i just got to fix this grill and get that other corner light in that got bashed out from numerous accidents and uh it will be mint condition but I really, genuinely, I'm not just saying this for the video, I genuinely freaking love it. It turned out so good. I love the, I mean, it looks exactly like what I was going for, exactly like a military truck. And it's like, I can't believe how good, and it took me like two hours. It was so easy and so cheap. I waited five years, five years I waited to do this. And my God. What was I waiting for? I love it. Now for the flag on the tailgate, I might leave it like it is, and it's kind of like a ghosted American flag, or I'll take off the vinyl, which will expose a black American flag underneath because the tape was covering the truck collar. That might look really cool. I might do that soon. I want to touch up that a little bit, but that line is good. The door handles, not bad. The mirrors. I did, I color matched uh, the mirrors. I went for the full look. I even sprayed the, uh, the snorkel and the light bar, covered that up. The windshield looks fantastic. This all turned out really good. Like again, way, I keep saying it, but way better than I thought it was gonna turn out. Like I really didn't have high hopes for it. I thought there was gonna be overspray or I thought it was gonna be like not matched up, but that's like really clean looking. Like even up to that line there. That looks pretty freaking good. For me doing it, that looks pretty freaking good. Almost looks like a professional did it, almost. Like 99.9% .9 professional. There you go, the Blazer has a fresh coat of paint. I think it looks awesome. Once again, let me know what you think in the comments below, but that is about going to do it for this episode. Update on the Jeep, I have been assured that the wheels and tires are on their way. I know that it's been, they have been on their way for a while now, but I have been assured they shipped out and they should be here literally any day this week. And I promise you guys, like I'm, I'm not just talking out of my this is what they're telling me so i mean i hope i hope they're right and i hope they show up because the jeep really needs them to look good and look complete and uh, i do have new 
tires on the way for this truck and in those boxes are wheels uh, for a different truck and I only own really kind of one other one besides the Duramax and I'm not putting steelies on that so you can guess what truck those are for. Tomorrow, as I said, bright and early, we start work on the green truck, which I'm very excited about. I can't wait to finally start on that. It's been sitting here in the garage for a while, and now we can finally get going on the real modification. So I hope you guys enjoyed this upload. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Thank you for watching. Take care and have a great night.